Hi everybody. Hi, Alexia. Um, Tell us about yourself. <laughs> My name is Alexia and I'm Mexican. <laughs> okay. So this poem I wrote when uh, Unidos took over the TUSD board meeting uh, about when they were trying to ban uh, ethnic studies. So this is my response to it. The first man who had fenced in a piece of land and said, this is mine, and found people naive enough to believe him, that man was the true founder of civil society. Rousseau knew what he was talking about, for possession is only to one's will. You're enslaved because you allow yourself to be enslaved. The flip of a page acts like the creation of mankind. The power of the utensil claims validity, authenticity, as if verity comes from only black print on blank paper. Sincerity is misinterpreted with integrity, misinterpreted with kindness, luring people to its trap. Sure, saying it will cooperate financially, benefiting the economy, is melodic to the ear, but is creating a blockage from identity's path benefiting to the mind? Identity is a trunk of roots, linked to ancestry, linked to culture, linked to language, who we are. I, for one, have a perspective living in America. The opposite freedom of the people in Cuba, North Korea, Sudan, Libya, Pakistan, Central Africa, educated indulges intellect, creating voices of opinion, thought, Destruction is a monster in which ethnic studies ban holds with its claws to scrape away perspective. Talking about how unnecessary it is, distracting is to study our own roots and praising them is far worse of a crime than slaughtering a brown woman minutes from nighttime in plain sight. Saying our pure America should remain pure, but a melting pot country is far from your pure, where differences blur with the patchwork quilt work. Each piece plays an equal role, threads woven all together to form a nation like no other, where beauty is so pure, your America, where redundancy lies and I only see white, I only see white, my skin is brown but I only see white, I see with your eyes and you see with your own, so let us learn only your culture. The one that betrayed humanity, calling native savages and snatching earth from their rituals, their songs, their dances, their sanctity. Let us learn the sound of metal chains clinging from silenced African voices, hushed by torture and brainwashed to your pleasing, your culture. Cryptic culture, cultic culture, consumer culture, fake culture, pretentious culture, freedom robbing culture, world destroying culture, pure, sweet. Two faced culture. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice how that my beliefs slid away at my knowledge and drains blood of I want, I need, I feel, I ache. Laws written on paper do not reflect virtue. Credulous readers are only weak prey. And to the true founder of civil society, Rousseau has something to say. Beware of listening to this imposter. You are undone if you once forget that the fruits of the earth belong to us all and the earth itself to nobody. Yeah!